Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. This is Mario with Hardcore Tech, back again with another case video. Today, we're gonna to be going over the Spigen Neo Hybrid S for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. It is a standing case. I actually waited five weeks to get this case. Not sure what happened there, but I'm really excited to show it to you. I had a chance to try it on before, and I first impression was I was actually pretty disappointed. And you'll probably see why in a little bit. Now, I've been very spoiled with no adhesive cases, and for the longest time, I've seen certain cases with no adhesive on the back, but this case is a lot different. But there's a reason why. There's a, there's a method to the madness. So let's take a look. So front adhesives galore, okay? You'll see why it needs it in a little bit. Um, some installation instructions how to use it, uh, an offer for a wireless charger, extra stickers or extra adhesives, and the back with adhesives. So this is the back of the phone. Let's take a close look at it. This is the back back of it. Okay. If we open it up, this is how it looks. Now I want you to pay attention how this, how I'm opening it right now. See how easy it is to open? Opens pretty good, right? Now I think there's magnets actually here. I think these are magnets. So I don't know what that speaks for if you're using the S Pen or how it affects the phone itself. I think there was a review saying the magnets interfere, but I am not sure i haven't had the chance to actually really take a look i guess we'll try we'll open up the notes app and see if anything happens but anyways let's put it on the phone okay make sure everything's aligned i really like the look matches the black uh, galaxy z fold 4 really well front is easy to install now the instructions really stress that you want to take the adhesives off and again you'll see why. So everything is aligned. So it feels good to unlock, very easy to unlock. Let's check wireless charging. Works. Let's check wireless power share. Now I do have the Spigen case for the uh, Airbud, um, the Galaxy Buds Pro 2. It's the same case for the Galaxy Buds. I had that. But I was having a hard time testing this out, and I realized it's because of the case itself. Not the, not the case on the phone, but the case on the Spigen. So it was not working for any case I had. So let's take a look. I think we saw it. Let's try again. Let's try again. Hmm. I think I did something wrong here. Let's open this. Okay, ready to charge. Yep, yeah, charging. All right, so we know that that works just fine. All right, so let's get, let's, without the adhesives on, let's check for any weak points, okay? So if we pull at the top here, nothing. Let's do the pull test. Pull in the corner, a little bit. You can see that a little bit. Pull on the side, yes. Pull in the corner, yes. Pull in the bottom, yes. Do the push test. So a very light push will make this slide off. Very light push in the corner won't. Very light pu push here will. Push here will. Here will. So I mentioned in the last videos, I like to close it from the bottom so that you wouldn't want to do this if you don't put the adhesives on. But I recommend you do. Let's try the back. So nothing, it's pretty secure. Really this is secure without the adhesives. There's only one, there's really one re only one reason why you're gonna put the adhesive on, and that's the kickstand. 
So when you put this on, it's very important you make sure this is all the way on, that there is no exposure of the fold at all. So make sure it's fully on. So when you open it, it opens smooth, right? So that's what I noticed. It opens very smooth. Um, but if it's slightly off like this, and this will happen probably over time. So I'm gonna take this off again. I, this is the issue I was having before. So if I take this off and I would say I put it on, right? And I'm not putting it on that properly. Like it's still, it's kind of showing the, it's, it's exposing the bottom a little bit. Look what happens when I try to open. Oops. Oh, it's actually not doing it. It would make this clicking noise. I don't know what changed, why it's not doing it anymore. But it would actually, when I would try to open it, this would actually lift. It could be how the adhesive is. Maybe, I don't know. It's not doing it now. It's actually working exactly how you want it to. Um, it would lift on the corner here. So just make sure you put the adhesive on just to be on the safe side. If you're really, really set on this case. Uh, when you try to open it, if you try to open it like normal, you're gonna open the case. You're gonna open the kickstand. So just be mindful of that. So let's open it now. When I try to open it, this part just comes off. So you, again, you wanna have the adhesives. So let's check the viewing angles. This is the maximum viewing angle you're going to get. Let's see how far up we can go. So can't do that there. Keep that there for a little while. Right there, 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 there. Let's try, now this is, this is a claw. This is just a, a mouse mat. Let's see if you're putting it on just a regular table, you know, it might be a little slippery. Let's try that. You know, not everyone's gonna have a mouse pad for all their countertops. So how is it gonna hold on there? It's not. So if your if your table is like this, then that could that this is that's definitely a downside. I wasn't expecting that. Let's see, what if I just position it first and then put it down? Okay, let me put it down very gently. Yeah. So in the in the advertisement it looks like you can do any angle, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. You have to have it on something that's like this to really maximize that. So that's actually that's actually a little disappointing. Uh, but either way, it's a nice case. If you're gonna use it for the kickstand, then I would just use it for the most it can go. But let's check out the let's let's check out the see if there's gonna be any issue with notes. So I'm gonna draw, Let's see if I remember how, okay. This is just an aside, but I notice a lot of people say, oh, the crease gets in the way of writing, but it really doesn't. They really did a great job with this model. It doesn't get in the way of writing at all. I don't see anything. I feel a little dip in the crease, but that's barely noticeable. And that's because I'm applying pressure too. So I really don't notice anything with, you know, the magnets on the back getting in the way. What if I have the case closed? Let's see, race. Oop. Let's try. Oops, that was my bad. I don't notice anything. Nope, everything seems to be working just fine. It sits nice and flush with the table. It's not, it's not raised at all. So let's take a look. Let's see how it compares to something like the Taurus S Pen case. So let's take this off. And we'll talk about hot swapping. So this 
we know the Taurus case is really good as far as no adhesive. Um, the color matches perfectly. No issues there. As far as unlocking, it works. Let's put the pen in, see how it feels to unlock. Works. Um, let's see how it is with the kickstand case. Works perfect. So I'm not worried at all with it toppling over, anything like that. I actually really like that if you want a hot swap. But remember, you're, you're paying a lot for this case alone and then plus the S Pen case So, for, from Taurus. So that's, that's, a lot of, that, that's a lot to add to your, you know, to an already expensive phone. Um, as far as bulkiness goes, it's not, it's about the same. Oh yeah, cat hair there. It's not the same. It's, this one's a little raised. It's just a little more bulky. But otherwise, looks really good. Hinge is going to be exposed, so you already, you already know how you feel about that. Um, one thing I may have not covered on the front case is accessibility to the edge panel or the lip. Not that much of a lip. Let's see if I can get it. So, very slight lip. It's pretty flush for the most part. So if I want to use the edge panel, it's very easy. Unlike the, the last case I reviewed, that, that no adhesive leather, leather one. But yeah, so final thoughts on this. I think it's really good. It's a shame I had to wait five weeks for it. Um, you know, personally, I don't like the adhesives, but I, I know why they did it. So I, I don't have any issue with that. Um, I like the professional look of it. But I got, for me personally, for the price, I think that's, I think it's good. If you want hinge protection, you just get the Spigen Slim Armor Pro, but you don't get the kickstand. So kind of pick your poison at this point. Um, but if we... But if you want to know what I'm currently rocking, because I'm still not sure if I want to keep this or not, even though I waited so long for it. Um, I'm currently using the S Pen case up from Taurus with a MagSafe sticker and the MagSafe uh, ring holder by um, by anchor because when I want a kickstand I can use it as a kickstand if I want it just to view content this wasn't a good example if I want it just to view content I can do that I don't have to worry about this happening you know sliding um, that's the other thing that's probably why I won't keep it because on other surfaces it may not Hold. Actually, let me take that back because it will hold up to the maximum, you know, the most you open it. So that let me take that let me take that back. Anyways, that's what I use this for mostly. I use I just use it as like a little kickstand. It's never fallen on me like it's showing in the video, so I never have that issue. Um, but I like it. I don't take notes with the kickstand because it doesn't really hold that well, but I never had to anyway. So. If I'm going to take notes on it, I'm going to hold it or just have it lay flat. But I can always use it when I want. It's always there. So at the end of the day, it's up to you. Do you like having carrying your S Pen around? Are you that type of person that needs that? Or you just want something that protects with a good, with a good look? Nice professional look. Kickstand. You just like it for consuming content. Having the kickstand. Mm, I would get this one, definitely. Um, if you like to just mix and match you can get the s pen case you can get this or you can get a case that doesn't need adhesives for the front but you're going to need adhesives on the back so might as well keep might as well just use this to save yourself money so it really depends on it really depends on you um you know if you want everything uh 
then you would go with the unicorn beetle case but that's you know again that's going to add so much bulk but yeah that's all i have to say thanks guys for watching uh hope you enjoyed it and uh, like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think if you have any case suggestions you want me to review i'm happy to uh, to take a look at them may even review them it's always fun to review these cases to see how they are in the market and for their price so again uh, I don't know if you guys have been seeing, but there's a lot more cases coming out for the Z Fold 4. And I'm excited to see what's going to what's gonna come out more and more throughout the year. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one.